folks. Welcome back to another incredible, amazing, indelible episode of Papa Day with me, your host, Lil Papadopoulos, a.k.a. Lil Funko, back in the mix, back in the cut. It's your boy, Max. And we're here with another fat stack of Funkos and maybe even a, a Funko soda. I've been, I've been slacking a little bit, I won't lie. I only uploaded once last month. I've been busy. I've been on six days a week at my work, so still, even though it's a new year. So uh, hopefully things chill out eventually. I'll be able to do more episodes, but I uh, decided to let things build up anyway. I, I think there's even more coming eventually in this week, so hopefully I'll have two uploads this month. I want to shoot for four, or, you know, you know, one a week, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's 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 just hop right into it. Okay, guys. Last time I did an episode, uh, I think I was featuring uh, any Pokemon. I said I'm not going to get them all. And I, I'm sticking to that. I have not pre-ordered the latest wave, although I would like an Alkazam. I think I'd like an Abra more. You know I had to get the Dragonite. And I think I'm actually going to ditch some of the commons of Pokemon. I have too many of them, but I like these uh, more unique sculpts. I think, again... One, I want ones that you can kind of recognize as the character and like, you know, Pokemon that are more significant to me and Dragonite is one of the coolest from the original generation so we had to have him. It looks like Barney, but uh, orange instead. Also kind of looks like uh, one of the dragons from uh, uh, I'm not going to remember the name of the show, but it was a PBS show from when I was a kid about maybe Dragon, dragon Tales. It kind of looks like the purple dragon from Dragon Tales. Um, so, if they do Dragon Tales Funko Pops, you know I'm going to grab one. Um, so we're going in order of how exciting I feel these are. So the second pop of the day is... Ba -ba -da -ba, the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark. Dias de los Muertos. Dias, Dia de los Muertos? I'm sorry, I was saying it wrong no matter how. Joker. I'm not getting all these. There's like 40 of them. I'm not saying there's not actually 40, but there's a lot of them. I don't really care that much, but I kept seeing this one go up. It's glow in the dark, and it's Joker. I have a couple Jokers, and I thought this was a cool, unique one. Although technically, I already have a Joker in this uh, mold. This is his Batman the Animated Series mold. Still, thought it was really cool. Um, I thought it would look a little bit cooler under black light, but I forgot that Funko does this thing where. Uh, the plastic they use is a little inconsistent, so his hands are like painted white and they reflect really well. But his face is this white plastic that, under normal light, kind of looks opaque. Like you can kind of see through it a little. It looks milky is the best thing I can describe. It looks like his head is a cube of frozen milk, and so it looks cool while it's glowing, um, but it doesn't look that cool as a normal pop. So I'm a little bit disappointed on that. I think some of their uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, uh, sodas have been more impressive. Like, the glow-in-the-dark on the uh, the Jack Skellington soda is really cool. It looks very bright. Or something like this. It just doesn't look... It looks cheap. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I don't like about it. But, still, I'm glad to have it in the collection. I like my Jokers. I think I want to take them out and display them. Um, yeah, the last pop of this day and this is honestly this is such a good one like they kind of nailed this one we got dexter from dexter's lab i think there is a different sculpt they did like one for probably uh, uh one of the comic cons or something like that but this is the second version where he's got his button from the intro of the show remote control um and this one just really works for me i think it's the glasses they kind of just nail his expression yeah, the glasses on this one, it's just normally, like, a lot of times Funkos don't fit very well with glasses characters, or they just don't really do it justice. This one looks so much like uh, the cartoon. I think this is a great one. You could take this out of the box, and I don't even think most people would know it's Funko Pop. They would just be like, oh, that's a sweet Dexter. This has been one of my favorite lines they're doing, the Cartoon Network line. Very excited about it. Uh, I cannot wait. The only one that I'm missing right now is... Courage. I don't care about Dee Dee. I don't care about Cow and Chicken. Uh, I really want Courage. Courage is probably my favorite cartoon out of this batch that they've made. 
so it's saving the best for last whenever they decide to ship that one. I think Courage the Cowardly Dog is the best of this wave for sure, and uh, I hope they do more Cartoon Network wave waves. Um, I want to display him, Dexter, with Johnny Bravo and Courage, and uh, I was thinking maybe get some anime pops like just a Goku or a uh, uh, Yu Yu from Yu Yu Hakusho or Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho and have like a uh, Toonami and Cartoon Network like little display and take them out, so I thought that'd be cool. So, Cartoon Network series is a total banger. Dexter is a banger of a pop. Cannot wait for more and especially my Courage the Cowardly Dog. And I thought we'd finish it off with, we got ourselves a Funko Soda. Now personally, I had to know, I had to peek to see if I got the chase, so I already know. I normally wouldn't do that, but Spider-Man is my favorite character. Um, and so I figured, I already know, but I'll, I'll save this, the suspense for you guys. Um, it's funny too because even though I wanted the chase, no matter what, this is one of the ones that I knew I would like, no matter what I got. And I did not get the chase, I got the normal one. And But honestly, I kind of, again, this is one of the ones where if I would gotten the chase, I would have been happy. But also, I'm kind of equally happy with the normal sculpt because... These were uh, sold out for a minute. I know it says they make 1,500 of these. Sometimes people can test that and say they make more, they make less. Um, I think the number is actually 15,000, sorry, I said 1,500, uh, per uh, area they're released in. So sometimes there's 15,000 for US and 15,000 for Europe. And I don't know if that's the case for these. Um, I'm not sure if Funko sodas are as popular, but Spider-Man ones always sell out really quick, so I'm very excited to get my first Spider-Man Funko Soda. He's awesome. I have the Venom one pre-ordered as well, so once he gets here, I will display them together. But yeah, not a bad little uh, mold. The thing is, and I love Spider-Man, and I needed to have this in my collection, um, but the kind of the appeal of the Funko Sodas is that they kind of have, you know, a nice pose, or... They kind of look like Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Like, uh, I'm looking over here, and Jack Skellington's got his hands on his hip. Um, what is it? Samurai Jack has a sword. Uh, Beetlejuice is kind of going like, hey, what's up? And, like, uh, Dark Knight Joker has his playing card. So they all have, like, accessories or anything. They couldn't have at least made Spider-Man going like this. Like, he's just standing here, like, straight up, like, posted. Like, hands at the sides. Like, when do you see Spider-Man posed like this like i'm this is a good sculpt but just the arms they literally could have just done something with the arms i don't know that's it that's my only complaint about this i love it it's his uh black and red suit from the latest movie actually i think it's the same suit he wore in um the second one the names for this the tom holland movies are very confusing far from home was the second one, and then No Way Home was the third. So, suit from both of those. Um, very excited. Didn't get the chase. Who gives a shit? Not me. <laughs> so we got three Funko Pops and one Funko Soda, and that's uh, that's it for today, man. I think that I think that covers it. If you guys, you know, oh yeah, I realized no no black lights in this one, so I can't uh, quick bait it with a a black light. Um, I, as much as I'd like to, I, I don't know what the next Blacklight Wave will be, or if they, or they haven't announced it yet, but I guess we'll see. You know, I'll be on that as soon as I, as soon as I can, <laughs> if they, if they announce a new drop. I would like to see more DC Blacklight, that would be cool. Like, uh, more, even if it's Justice League, or somehow, or uh, if they did a Blacklight Batman Beyond, I would probably die. So, if you're watching this, uh, Captain Funko, Lord Funko, head of the Funko Squad, please make a Batman Beyond Blacklight. That would be really sick. But I think that's just, uh, just about gonna cover it. I appreciate everybody for hopping in and watching today's episode. Um, stay tuned. Keep it locked here. Drop me a comment if you like the video. Uh, well, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you're working with. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, my name's Max, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, you guys just got Papa Bite. Thanks for watching.